Radio, this is the How to Hack Your Pet series only on How to EGD. And in this video, I'll be looking at the details section and discussing with you the exact requirements, going through the checklist and showing a couple of examples at the end of this video. Now, for us to get started, you need your pet document and I'm sure you've read all of this already, but let's go to page 13 and we look at 5.1.3 the details section and what exactly is specified. So, in this path, the details section must be drawn to scale 1 to 20. You do not have a choice in it. That is your scale to be used. You need to show all the details from the foundation to the roof. So it's a complete section elevation on a cutting plane that passes through the serving hatch and either an internal door or an external door or a window. So read this carefully, a cutting plane that passes through the serving hatch, that's a must. And either an internal door, external door or a window. Okay, so there's actually two here. One cutting plane is going to th go through the serving hatch and the next section elevation is going to go through either an internal door or an external or a window. You're going to have to do two detail sections. Then it says note use brake lines to divide the detail section in two or more parts each representing a width of at least one and a half meters. Okay so those sections and I'll show you the examples needs to at least cover one and a half meters each. Now Below that, it specifies that what we must include in all relevant views. I emphasize all because this is actually, you can double check your previous drawings. This needs to be covered in your floor plan, in your elevations, etc. So what is that that must be included? All exterior features, including door and window detail. All external features, door and window details. All windows and doors must be shown in the two elevations. All window and door frames must be shown in the two elevations. So on that drawing, make sure you've done that. The roof detail, including all rainwater items and roof lines, that's also specific to this sectional elevation. Make sure we're going to have to include all rainwater items and roof details. All permanent fixtures, let's say you cut through that server hatch, that actual serving table for instance that might be a permanent fixture or the built-in cupboard you need to show that all electrical fittings and wiring details wastewater disposable systems titles labels and notes my previous video actually showed you the difference between labels and notes make sure you check that scales used this is going to be scale 1 to 20 for this drawing the detailed dimensioning and that's going to be the foundations the wall heights the serving hatch heights etc the cutting planes, of course, that's going to be relevant in your floor plan. All hatching details and a north point. Okay, now north point, not necessarily for this detail section. Let's look at the checklist that goes along with 5.1.3. Okay, so here is that checklist. It's available to you in the pad document. You can check the downloads if you might have missed that um, as a download for yourself. 5.1.3 details what is required in this detail section. So let's go through it and see how you're going to obtain the maximum marks. Sections correct according to the indicated cutting plane. The question here is, is the sections that you are drawing, the two sections, are they correct according to the indicated cutting planes? What are they referring to? They're actually referring back to the cutting planes that you showed on your floor plans. Okay, so on your floor plans, you're going to have cutting planes. I'm going to show you this in a moment. That actually details how these sections should be drawn. That's one mark. Foundation, slab, and wall detail. Have you shown all of those details? Well, if you've done that, two marks. The serving hatch and roller door detail. Is that clearly visible? As well as the roller door detail. And for this again, I'll show you examples and have a download in the description. Internal external door or window detail. Have you covered that in one of the cuts? The roof detail, the wall plates, etc. The labels and the notes, detail dimensioning, all hatching details, showing the compact fill, showing the concrete, etc. The scale that you used, was it 1 to 20? Was it indicated correctly? Did you do that breaking lines? All of this is going to add up to a total of 15 divided by 1.5 is going to give you a total 
out of 10. Now let's look at some of the things that was listed here to make sure you understand what exactly they require. Okay, so first things first, I've just taken a previous section elevation from one of my students to just show you how they've done two sections on one page. Now, of course, this is a previous year's work, but you can see here that it details from the foundation all the way through to the roofing detail includes even the gutters, rainwater pipes. You have your brake lines here indicated. You've got your measurements, your labels, your notes, uh, all of that indicated on this. Okay, that's uh, uh, similar to what you'll have to do with regard to the two sectional elevations. This document is available for you as a download um, and it's just to get you going on your cutting plan. I didn't include the full roof details here, but what is it? This is the part where you cut through the serving edge. So I've done my research. I've included for you the countertop. How would you draw that? That's your serving edge. There's the lintel to support that serving edge. And there's the roll up door with its detail. Now this one is boxed and the center lines here basically indicates the fact that it's a coiled roll up door that can move up and down. Okay, that should be more than enough for your marks. Of course, you'll have to add your uh, roof details as well as I left out the walkway which should also be indicated here at least. I'm going to show you another example of that. Let's look at another example. Uh, again, to make sure that you get this right, I've just taken this from one of the floor plans in previous uh, grade 12 exams where they've actually indicated the cutting plane. And this is the reference back to that floor plan where it says you did you get your section correct according to the cutting plane. So remember, make sure on the floor plan page you need to indicate the cutting plane and in this instance it was labeled cc you're going to have two cutting planes so you might label label the one cc and the other one you'll do bb for instance and remember these cutting planes the first one will have to be through the serving edge okay and there will be some walkway that's why i just use this example which will help you clarify okay let's look at the actual answer to this specific cutting plane that will help you to show you how yours should look okay so here is that specific section cc this is just as an indication for you of course scale clearly indicated labeled correctly and here we have the the actual the wall the outer wall that was cut and this side is that walkway on this sketch that was shown so it gives you some indication of your own design you're also going to have your walkway with its support on the one side so you have your main wall of your let's say your kitchen area in this area here you will have your counter with its uh, the server edge and the roll-up door that should be round about here in this case they're showing a door and then you have your roof detail above this. Okay, now in this design, the roof was, the load bearing wall was actually the one that's on the outside. Okay, your roof detail will most likely look a little bit different than this, but at least it shows you how your foundation part will look. You'll have your support still for that outside roof and then also all your gutter details that's going to be required, the fascia, the purlins, the actual roof sheeting, the roof trusses, the branding, uh, ceiling boards, etc. Okay, so it gives you some indication at what we will look at when we give marks. Make sure that you actually download this just as a start of referencing your own section. Okay, it's got to be scale 1 to 20 and you can absolutely nail it. Now it's your turn.